Woo! So today's review, we're going to focus on the Night of the East from War of Order, or Wu for short. This is volume three of the series, and this is from Devil Toys. I've covered Devil Toys before. They Their style is more cyberpunk, Japanese uh, combination, futuristic plus traditional, if that makes any sense. Uh, I came across this guy in my local listings as usual. Uh, he looked pretty cool. He had this, he wasn't so robotic, but he did have some qualities to him that really jut out at me when I looked at his pictures. It was just a unique find, basically. Uh, he's like a samurai guy plus a sniper because he comes with a gun a, some sort of futuristic musket and he has two head sculpts so uh as for lore or story behind this guy as usual in my videos i have no clue who this guy is i just got him because he looks awesome so that being said let's take a look at this weirdo And here he is, the Knight of the East. As you can see, he looks very cyberpunky, plus traditional um, aesthetics. Let's see if I could rotate him just a bit. He he's he's decked out with detail. This guy. Um, he just looks that interesting to me, so I had to get him. Let's see if I could zoom in a bit on this on this boy. So I don't have to have to edit a close up on him. There we go. I could rotate him better now. So here he is. Um, if you can notice, there's a little black wire there. I have to have it there because he comes with some accessories that do not go on him properly. So I have that wire on him just to secure it. I'll show you guys later. But here he is. Let's see if I could fix the lighting just a bit. Just a bit. Just a bit. Sorry. There he is. Yep. Um, I don't know why the his colors are a bit blown out in the video. I can see it right now, but in person it's more toned down and more darker. It's a very, I don't know if he's a robot or just a, like a cybernetic enhanced human. Because from what I understand from the series is they're like assassin type soldier people. And they're like mixed together with machine parts and stuff. Very Metal Gear Solid-esque type of aesthetic. So yeah, that's, that's him very unique looking guy so let's take a look at his accessories sword swords gunny flag flag little bits extra head and hand hand and hand and little thing so here's the stuff he comes with um, Quite a bit of stuff. It's pretty hard to stick all these things on him because there are no holsters for any of them. Uh, before we move on, these little string things attached to the weapons, these are twine I tied myself because there is no there's no way to put these things on him. There's no storage on the figure itself. So I had to improvise just a bit. So with that being said, let's take a look at his little little flag thing. Doo -doo -doo. Now he can wield this if he so choose because he had, it, this is basically a weapon. And I guess this is his clan emblem or something. His organization. And stuck on this nicely sculpted pole. Yes, no. 
I think it's time for me to get a new phone. Oh, well, not focus when I said that. <laughs> so yeah, it's very steam, no, not steampunky, but it's very futuristic. You got wire and all that. As if this is going to be superheated or something. So yeah, that's one of his flags. Hold it like this. And this is his other flag. Please don't ask me what it says, because I do not know what it says. If if this is kanji or something, maybe you guys can let me know what it says. Mm, yeah, it's only on one side. Uh, sculpt is basically the same. It's basically the same. It's just different flags, really. Um, again, there are no ports. There are no clips on the figure where you could stick this thing on. So I have to improvise with that black wire you saw. Next, we have this honking sword, which looks like a piece of a motorcycle because of all these little cylindrical jet engine looking things. Now, this is a sword. As you can see, there is an edge. How or how he uses this, I do not know. It looks like it's like a, it's not a gun. No, it's not a gun at all. I don't know how this works. I guess it superheats it comes like a laser sword or something it's not heavy so you don't have to worry about this thing weighing the figure down if you want to pose him with this thing and this is the the string i had to incorporate onto this thing so it hangs on his belt Let's see if i could take a little close up there we go as you can see paint job is nice sculpt is nice there is a Pair of weathering, but not a whole lot. You can see, like, I mean, that, that looks cool. Bird. It's that same damn bird every morning. Yeah, so that's his little cyberpunk looking sword. I'm gonna say cyberpunk a lot because I don't know how else to reference this type of style because it's futuristic yet traditional. He comes with two swords, but I had to wrap them together. So it's like one long sword, one short sword. Do, do, do. Yeah, it comes. Let's see if I can focus. Just a bitch. Can you focus, please? Focus. There we go. This is his short sword. It's like it's patinaed, Put peanut. It's patinaed. Like it's it's seen some use. I'm gonna throw this phone out the window. <laughs> I don't know why it's having such a hard time doing this. It's it's right here. Why can't you focus? Bleh. Let's see if I can focus on the big one. I mean, this isn't die cast, unfortunately. So it's 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 plastic, pretty bendy plastic. So it will snap. I do not know how to focus this thing. There we go. Let's see if I can hold that focus. You can see the handle. I mean, it's focusing, but then it starts to jitter. Well, that's a sword, I guess. Let's see if I could do this on camera. Yeah, there we go. That's his sword. So decent paint job, decent weathering. Very. I'm gonna say cyberpunk. I'm gonna... It's very futuristic. Looks like it belongs on a gun dam or something. Okay, that's his two samurai swords. What else does he have? He has his gunny guns. This is his, it looks like a musket, an old timey musket.
the clip doesn't come out. No, 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 no parts move. It's because this is damn toys, so they're not that in detail. Hmm. Let's see if I could focus manually here. There we go. So that's his gun. He holds it quite well. Yep. Do, do, do. What else can we look at? Um, okay, these things, I do not know what these things are. Let's see if I can focus manually. I have to focus manually. There we go. I don't know what these things are, but they have clips, so I just clip it onto his, his collar. I think these are ammo. <laughs> I don't know. Gunpowder, maybe? They look cool, so I just clip it onto the gun. He's good to go. Then there's more little bits here, like this thing. I don't know what this thing is. Is it a bullet? I don't think it's a bullet. It doesn't really explain, and there's no instruction manuals that come with this guy, so you just you just make it up as you go, I guess. So it's like a little vase. And then he's got some hands. So we got, oh, sorry. We got some open hands. Oh dear. There we go. Let's just stay calm, everybody. So uh, these are robotic arm hands. As you can see, there are like little rivets here. So it's not a, f like, it's not a, f these things aren't deta they are detached by like metal parts. So it's, this guy's obviously a robot. Or maybe his hands are robotic. Nope, both of his hands are robots. So is he a cyborg? And then we have um, gripping and triggering hand. And each one comes with like spikes. They look like Gundam hands. They remind me of Gundam, these little, these little little details here. So this is for obviously his gun. This is a trigger. And his Oh wait, these the, okay. This is a trigger hand for the other arm, I guess. Yep. Another trigger hand. And another gripping hand. So that's his hands, and lastly is his extra head. Uh, from the promo pictures I've seen, this is only used when he's like wielding the gun. So it is like his gun head, I guess, so he could target his his prey or his, his contract with this helmet. So you can see he's got some samurai inspired type armor. Hey, there's a little hole here. Why oh, is there a hole here? That's weird. Oh, I think this is where the feather goes. I'll show you guys later. So yeah, that's his little um, shooty head. The head he uses to shoot or target. Let's see if I can close up. Is it close up? Is it close up? No? Yeah. So it's very robotic. Very cool. So that's it. That's the stuff he comes with. It's quite a bit. You can stick all this on him, except for these things. I don't know what these things are. I just keep them in the box because I'm scared I might lose them. But the rest you can stick them on the figure uh, carefully, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So here's the knight all kitted out with all his accessories on him. Uh, as you can see, the rope. The, the twine or the little string I attached them is being looped into his belt. So they're pretty secure on there. Don't have to worry about them falling off. And the way I stuck these banners on them is as you can see the black wire there. I basically tied it around him and just stuck each pole 
behind them so it's secure. Now these things will, will not fall, but you do run the risk of kind of ruining the aesthetic of the figure. Uh, yeah, there he is. Pretty, pretty handsome dude. Like I said, I don't know what these things are, so I just clipped them on just to fill out that space. I don't know if it's gunpowder, ammo, or medicine. If anybody knows, please let me know. I don't know a lot about this series. I mean, there's a bunch of these guys, but as you can tell, I, this is volume three. There are other assassin type looking guys. But this guy is the most different because of his, his overall aesthetic of being some traditional looking warrior. So that's him. Doo -doo -doo. Very fancy. Let's stick the other head on him and see how it looks. So here he is with the other head sculpt, the sniper type head sculpt. I mean, this is what they use when they pose him with the gun. And uh, yeah, it does a trick. Ooh, wobbly. I have a QC issue with this head, unfortunately. I just found out just now. If I could just... There we go. Um, this is missing something. I do not know what it's missing. I thought I could stick the, the little hair piece here onto here, but this isn't removable at all. And this is also missing a, a suction, not a suction, just a, a place to peg that ball joint in. Like this is, this has it. This doesn't. Has it? Doesn't. So they kind of screwed me on this head sculpt. But I don't really use this head sculpt as much. And as this particular figure's worth is kind of rising in price, there is no chance of me replacing it. So yeah, there we go. That's it. I just bounce it on his little stub there and hope for the best. That's unfortunate. I guess mm, nothing else to do but take a closer look at him. So here's a more close-up view of this guy, so you, you won't miss the detail. I mean, he has quite a bit of stuff on him. Again, very cyberpunky. As you can see, I, I looped the string around his belt, so it's holding all these swords together just fine. There's gunny guns. A robotic hand, this weird gunpowder thing. Let's see if I could turn him just a smidge. And here's a close up of what I did with the black wire. Uh, where I got these black wires are you know, NECA figures, they secure their figures with these things. So I just keep them. I have a whole bunch of these wire things, and I have a whole drawer full of them just. Just because of this, basically, I just stick weapons onto figures with black wire. As you can see, he has a little... There we go. So as you can see, I looped it around his belt. Unfortunately, there's no way to store these weapons on him. I mean, in the promo pics, you, you basically tie everything with this red band belt thing, but that's not going to hold these things. It's not secure. So there you go. It's a little Gundam looking sword. Just that, just that detail is insane. shoulder guard thing so it's a sweet looking figure I mean I don't see a lot of reviews of this so I'm guessing it's not very well known and the reviews I do come across are pretty like they're not in depth I mean they don't 
do close-ups or try to look at the figure properly. They're just very rushed. So hopefully I can do this figure some justice with this video. Don't forget his feet. Little robotic samurai feet. Yeah. It's a very handsome boy. Final close up of this guy, then we'll stick him on the shelf. Yeah, okay, that's it. This is um, the Knight of the East. Is that what he called? Yeah. This is the Knight of the East from World of Order. Or War of Order, sorry. Wu for short. There are different types of these type of figures, so I suggest you check them out and do some research. Yeah, let's stick you on the shelf. So this is where I'll stick them, in the bottom shelf. I kind of like reviewing obscure figures like this, and like this guy, or like that guy, because there's not a whole lot of information out there if someone decides to buy them. So maybe my videos can help them just a bit. With some close-ups or something whether or not it's worth the purchase because this guy is not cheap from what I've saw on eBay uh, he goes for like $300 which is weird because I did not come close to <laughs> to paying that for this guy so I think he's kind of up there he's rising in price but maybe you know maybe it's just eBay prices and the seller is just ripping people off, as eBay does. Well, hope this video helps you guys in some way, shape, or form. Would I recommend this? Yes, I would recommend this to any collector of one six scale. He's just that unique to get. Alright, so thanks for watching to my... 17 subscribers. Yay. Go get them.